how to create a new LVM partition with Ansible, I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about uh, Ansible module Parted. The full name is community.general.parted which means that is part of a collection or module community.general maintained by the Ansible community. The purpose of the module is to configure block device partitions. Exactly what we need. The parameters of module parted for the creation of a new LVM partition use case. The only required parameter is device, the block device disk, where to operate. The system default partition table is MS-DOS, but you could specify a different one, for example GPT is the new trendy design. The parameter number allows you to specify the partition number to work on, required for almost any operations. The parameter state specifies the status of the specified partition. The default option info only gives you the partition information, but in this case we need a present that means to create the partition. Another option is absent that means the partition must be deleted. You could specify the file system type via the fs underscore type or flags for the partition. For the LVM use case, we need to specify the LVM flag. Please note that FS type or flags doesn't initialize the file system or the partition, only set the attribute in the partition table. Now let's move on to the MIDI part. How to create a new LVM partition with Ansible Playbook. I'm going to show you some code how to create the first partition of an additional disk, in my case, slash dev slash sdb for in a Linux machine and set the appropriate flags for LVM disk mode. Are you ready? Let's have fun! Welcome to my editor. I'm going to show you one simple playbook to create an LVM partition. First of all, let's begin our play with a name, disk demo, that is going to be executed on host all of my inventory. Let me set it up become true because I need a root privilege to perform any disk modification of the system. On the task list, only one name create partition that is going to use a community.general.parted module. Some parameters are necessary. First of all, the device, in my case, slash dev slash sdb, so the second SCSI disk on the system. Number of a partition is number one, and on the flag list, this is a let's start a list of parameters and only one LVM inside. What else we need? Of course, state must be present. And that's it. In a few lines of code, I'm able to create a new partition and also initialize the partition table to MS-DOS. That's it. Everything that we need, the partition will be created, partition number one, and set the correct LVM flag. Welcome on my terminal. First of all, let me introduce my demo machine. In this case, let me connect via SSH DevOps is my username at disk.example.com. This is a simple fresh machine that I initialize with two different hard drives on the SCSI bus with LSBLK. We have a full view of the two disks. The second disk is SDB with 1 GB completely empty and we are going to have a lot of fun with this disk. Uh, we can have a better overview probably with a portedy uh, utility ported slash 
dev slash sdb so this is a very simple utility with a p parameter we can print it out the situation at the disk right now as you can see there is a no disk label and no partition table is a completely empty space of one gigabyte so let me disconnect from the system from root normal user and execute the ansible playbook using ansible dash playbook command let me also specify the inventory in my case is under virtual machine disk inventory and then the ansible playbook name partition underscore create yml the execution is going to be super fast and we got one change status which means some operation were performed on the target machine and what happened if we execute again the same code well this time we rely on the property called hidden potency of this module that return ok status which means no further operation are performed on the same machine with the same disk let's verify the configuration of our machine via ssh devops is the username at disk example com let me become root and then list the current configuration of the block device this time sdb has a dependent called sdb1 the first partition so something changed finally let's have a better look using port d utility so let's print it out and yay we have a one partition called primary with a colored flag lvm and also we can notice that the partition table is ms dos so the disk is fully initialized and ready for any further operation yay great job ansible everything is set it up and now we solved one more things in our automation journey now you know how to create a new lvm partition with ansible thank you for watching and i hope you learned something new about ansible and how to simplify your everyday journey see us on the next adventure of ansible pilot and have a great day this video is part of our ansible automation program sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.